Yo, what is up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joking John City 4 here, bringing you guys more Man Ultimate Team, and today I'm bringing you guys game number four of season two. Now, let me tell you something, guys. If you guys enjoyed game number three, this game is like four times way better. All right, all I'm gonna say is this defense is freaking clutch. I think Dante Whitner and Gerard Mayo were the best pickups of season two. I think they really were. They're like the greatest help I can get. And um, you'll see why later on, like in the third quarter or fourth quarter, you'll see what, what the hell they did. And um, yeah, pretty much. I, all I can say is defense, man. Defense wins championships. And for sure, most of you guys are asking yourselves, like, what about the offense, Joe? You know, what the hell happened to them? Well, apparently my O-line can block for shit. And apparently, also, my opponent had the run stuff scale on. So my online couldn't do anything, they couldn't push back. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna run the same style that I did the previous game. Run slants with T.Y. Hilton. That guy's the fastest guy out there on the field for sure. And all I'm gonna do is just run with T.Y. Hilton. And look at this wonderful play right here. He juked around four people in total. Like he ran out of freaking smash of three people and then he just juked himself out of there and it was just beautiful man. T.Y. Hilton, a hell of a receiver. I recommend him for slot. If you guys have like freaking a slow ass guy, you're not gonna do that much with him. So have T. Y. Hilton in the slide, you're gonna do a hell of a job. So, anyways, what happened here, guys? Why do I have Jay Cutler? Ryan Tannehill gets injured yet again, and yes, Jay Cutler got sacked right away yet again. If you guys remember my previous game, game number three, he got sacked right after he started after Ryan Tannehill got injured. So, uh, coincidence? Yes, kind of yes. But overall, you know, that didn't lower my expectations to win. Jake Cutler's still a good quarterback, so I ended up scoring a touchdown, 7-0. To um, second quarter, two minutes ago, and he gets it. He got it a few times, though. He got lucky. He got lucky, very really lucky. I mean, he should have been stopped, but whatever, you know. There's, there's always going to be another chance. Third and 12. Where is going to throw at? Nowhere to be found. Linville Joseph is beasting it up in the D line, man. I recommend Linville Joseph. That guy is the strongest DT you can ever have. And right here, beautiful pass to Victor Cruz. Victor Cruz ain't that great, though. He's the most average receiver you can have, but it'll do it for now. I'm actually thinking of picking up with somebody else. So if you guys can give me some kind of suggestions of who to pick up to replace Victor Cruz, let me know in the comment section. I would love to know. So. Right here, another drop by T.Y. Hilton. I actually ended up doing a fail goal because T.Y. Hilton dropped it three times. Actually, I didn't show the first two times. I showed the third time, and I was like, damn, T.Y. Hilton, you kind of letting me down there. But I ended up doing a fail goal, so I was like, you know what? This guy's going to struggle in offense again, so it's really not a big deal to go back into defense. And I was like, I got this. I got this. And yet, again, he does a 10 and in. I'm going to the yellow zone in the middle, and um, you know, he's getting pretty lucky thing is, how lucky can he be if he stays in the pocket? That's all I'm going to say there. You try to scramble with Jay Cutler, bro. Why are you doing that? <laughs> I was like, what? Jay Cutler knows how to scramble? Yeah, he's trying to do a lot of wacky stuff, but it ain't going to help him. Maybe like one time. Now, keep your eyes open for this one, guys. Keep your eyes peeled. Just watch this. Beautiful. Beautiful. Just beautiful by Dante Whitner. Like, he deserves the MVP of the game, man. Clutch. That's freaking close right there. Dante Winner just clutched it up, man. Forced fumble before he even scored. <laughs> he was mad, man. I, I think he did pause. The thing is that right after the pause, you know, my play showed and I want I don't want to show that. It's secret stuff. So he paused like for 10 seconds. He was thinking about quitting, but he didn't. So we continued the game. Pretty much, I was right there. I decided to punt because I was like. The guy's going to struggle on, on, on offense again, yet again, so I'm good. I'm good, guys. All, all this was pure defense and a pick by Amon Brooks again. Yeah, it's beautiful, guys. If you guys enjoyed this gameplay, leave a like, leave a comment, tell me what's up. If you guys want to know about this defense, make sure you buy more Shocker 360 uh, defensive ebooks or ebooks. You know, he has the clues, man. He, ha he does have the mystery solved by his ebooks. He showed me the defense though, so I'm doing good. I'm doing pretty good. So I'm currently undefeated, guys. 4-0. Incredible. I thought I was going to do terrible in the previous year, but hey, I'm doing a hell of a job. A lot of people have elites. I have gold players. Come on, bro. Come on. <laughs>
Come at me. So anyways, more Madden 15 Ultimate Team coming up for you guys. If you guys want to see some more, subscribe for more Madden All-Stars. Subscribe for more Mr. Joking John 74. Make sure you follow me on Twitter at Joking John 74 too. So, see you guys later. And enjoy the rest of the video.